Ooh, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Meet in the Middle podcast, episode five, part two of episode five four. Five already. God damn. Five already, dude. Half a decade. It's crazy. We've, done, we've been doing what? this for half a decade already. <laughs> It's nuts. <laughs> one a year, man. It's crazy. I haven't yeah, aged dude. at all, but mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, we've only done yeah one episode every year. That's crazy, dude. Can you yeah. imagine, dude? If you could hear, I that, can't wait till next home. year, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every episode one I, I, one comes out every Wednesday, like once a year. <laughs> if anyone could hear that, there's like a bunch of people in my hallway, like yelling. I don't know what's going on. So, um, if it luckily gets intense, I can't hear it. But yeah, that's good. Hopefully, I it's some it. marital problems or something, you know, mm-hmm. something spicy, you know, yeah, something light. Yeah, hopefully, it's just like a small, just a little. Di- well, I mean, like if people are going to be like loud in your building, like might mm-hmm. as well have it be like some juicy tea, you know, or like yeah, interesting or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah if they're going like, to be, oh my god, fucking annoying. like listening and knowing whether or not the the uh, the uh, they're cheating. Like if somebody comes over, you know, <laughs> like that'd be crazy, yeah. dude. <laughs> If he's, yeah, dude, the, there's like that, that happens in Family Guy with Quagmire all the time. Like, he'll be like hanging out the window or something like that when the husband comes <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I have heard my neighbor that, that you've heard and we've talked about a little bit on the podcast straight up like beat the shit out of a guy next door. No, I haven't. I actually um, haven't heard that. Oh, really? I don't think so, we talked about that. No, yeah. I probably, I don't think I've talked about it on the podcast. I thought I told you, but um, yeah, like one of the first. It was probably like the first or second week I was living here. I heard him just like beating the fucking shit out of another dude. Like I could hear like the <laughs> boom, boom, and like things getting tossed around and stuff. And the woman was just like, stop Jesus. it, stop it, stop <laughs> it, stop it. I'm like, oh my God. I'm just sitting here like at my computer like, oh my God. Oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> so naturally you didn't call the police. You didn't do anything. Yeah. Well, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I probably should have, but I, I, I'm like, I haven't lived here that long. No, like, is this just like a normal thing? Like, is this just Chicago? You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, I think now if I heard that, I definitely would because uh, they're just terrible neighbors and I fucking hate them. But um, yeah, they're just they're not like I don't know. If, I mean, I was gonna say I don't they're know if they're mean people, but clearly they're they're fucking mean. I mean, if um, you're fighting anyone. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like how often? About like, money. I mean, like, yeah, fighting like yeah, how, uh, unless you're on drunk hands, people I on like sixth street or something like that like i don't mm-hmm. really see like yeah dude i don't know it was in the middle of the day too is it like i don't think i'd ever fight anybody sober <laughs> i don't think i'd ever yeah i, I don't know dude i'm i mean like I'm i mean that's a, that's a lie uh it it depends but <laughs> dash is a big fighter these days yep <laughs> totally <laughs> i uh i've never gotten in a fight and i hope i never have to because i feel like I Same. fantasize about like I'm like all right yeah, I could definitely do this but I'm like I hope I that people shit. see my <laughs> size and they're just like we'll leave them alone or just um, your reach helps you yeah <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> I could hold them by like, the well, head and they could run at me <laughs> well, I mean uh, you just get one good like swing on them right there and then he's like you know that's all it takes <laughs> my arms are too lanky it would take too long for them to like connect with their face or like wherever I'm hitting them I feel like by the yeah. time I'd hit them they'd already hit me like three times in the chest. Um, yeah, that's the other thing that my gut is like where most people's like, I feel like know. my best strategy, depending on the build of the fight <laughs> of the fighter, yeah. um, is I would have to like, just like, I am, I'm kind of lengthy, but I'm not very strong. So I think I would just <laughs> go like, like run at them. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Like close that distance as quickly as possible. Like get, a f- <laughs> get my leg around their leg and then put them on the ground or something. I'd probably get dragged into it too. So it wouldn't really yeah. work, but I, that's well, why you, I shouldn't be in a fight. So, <laughs> do you remember uh, Jurassic Land Two when we had the little fight scene? Oh yeah, in the yeah, sand, yeah. and we just did like one take, and we just like tackled each other like back to back. So fucking funny. Yeah, dude. that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's only been a few days since we recorded the podcast. What did we record? Sunday. I think that yeah, I think it was Sunday. Probably yeah. Uh, it's like six twelve right now. It's pretty dark in my apartment, so that's why it looks so dark in here. It looks like it's pitch black, but it's not pretty quite. right here still. But we're about to lose it. You're you're, you're closer to the sun. equator than I am, so man, that's probably why. Yeah, the quarter, and there's also mm-hmm. not like twelve story buildings everywhere around me. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a, that's a really really good point. Um, after the podcast, Dash and I couldn't help but. Uh, after the last this episode, cat couldn't is help yelling but smoke. at me. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, oh well, no, I can't hear it. Uh, after the last episode, Dash and I uh, felt compelled to uh, partake in a little bit of puff puff, and played some putt putt mini golf. 
that was sick. Um, not in real life, but in uh, I online. wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we uh, we played a little bit of that and duck game. I think. Yeah, um, dude, I'm way too good at that game. Listen, yeah, dude. It was like at a certain point, I was like, "This isn't even fun anymore." Like, I'm just I know I felt so bad. I was like, I, I because like I feel like when I lose, I'm like kind of pretty obviously throwing. You know, like in that yeah, game, dude. it's kind of hard to not like it's, you know. Yeah, if you're good at it, I mean, I'm sure. I'm just not. I'm not quick enough to like. I'm not quick enough to figure out what to grab and like how to like. That's I the thing know. is, yeah, it's it's mostly. I mean, it's obviously a lot of like like movement skill but it's also yeah. um map knowledge for sure like i immediately mm. know what map we're on and what yeah. like weapons are around that's why when the new maps and stuff are out i was like oh this is crazy you know like <laughs> like not knowing but what the fuck was up but there's a lot I of them win. where like yeah <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know what that game is we should probably <laughs> say yeah it's um, like a you should look yeah, it up it's great it's made by adult swim mm. it's a adult oh, swim video that. game yeah it's it's sick um and it's just like a it looks like old school um like old Mario or something like really yeah, pixelated, like pixelated and stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's really good, like mechanics in it. Like, like the, like I feel like picking up weapons and stuff like that and like mm -hmm. throwing them, shooting them. Like it, I never have any issues with it. Like nothing ever like lags or anything yeah. like that. You know, what is it? Like, is it, it two, really two to four players and you can just basically you spawn into mm -hmm. a, a spot across the map from somebody else usually. And there's it's just like a, a battle royale. Exploding. You're all on mm -hmm. one screen and you do it. It's, it's kind of yeah. like a, Almost like if you think of what what's a similar type of game. Um. It's like got a similar layout of like, I wouldn't say Terraria, but kind of like where it's like, you know, Yeah, 2D. it looks like that. Yeah, and then uh, you, you, you like jump up and you can grab But it's like Super Smash Bros. of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Except your character doesn't matter. It's more about just the weapons. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, exactly. it's really fun. And if you fun. like that kind of kind of shit. You it's fun. It's fun yeah. for a while unless you're playing against Dash. And then it's, it's, it's fun <laughs> for a little bit. And then it's like, oh, my God, he's won 17. I've won five in this whole round. So. <laughs> yeah. But it's still fun. It, it's definitely better like as a party game with me because yeah. uh, there's a lot more people to <laughs> focus mm -hmm. on. Definitely. But we uh, we felt uh, we both finished the episode talking about weed and we're like, and we should smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what, um, are, you, what are we going to do after this podcast? Dude, probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably at least a little thing. bit. I got to wake I got to wake up at like fucking uh, probably like 530 tomorrow. So Oof. we'll see so how you got to smoke I a do, lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just want to sleep. Yeah. Um, I think I got to be at the school tomorrow at seven o'clock and it's like a 30 minute drive uh just take um, the weed then no. <laughs> yeah yeah to the school um yeah. dude yeah i don't know <laughs> work is dude like i got back on monday um from work i think it was monday yeah i got back on monday or yeah i guess it's tuesday today so it had to been yesterday oh my god it was like the worst school we've been to like the teachers were just like yelling Did, yeah didn't you say kids. it was gonna be like super short and you were gonna be like this is gonna be fine Today was today was short, but it was still like, oh my god, dude! I don't want to get in super into it, just in <laughs> case. Like, I don't want to like get anybody in trouble if anyone watches this that I work with or something. Like, but for the most part, like I like everyone that I work with, um, with a few exceptions. I'm I'm now like a crew lead, so like I'm in charge of like a couple photographers during the day, people that I train oh, with, who a lot of times they're older than me, um, <laughs> by just I a few years or that. whatever. But it's <laughs> annoying because I'm like, yeah, I I feel like people no, just I don't totally really listen. Yeah. No, yeah, I have the same shit. Yeah, working at the bike shop and stuff. Like, yeah. Hey, I need you to do this, and then I'll like come back in like half an hour and be like, Hey, I still need you to do this. I know you're yeah, doing other stuff, but like yeah. I, I need this like now. You're, yeah, you're tr <laughs> like it's like it's. I don't want it because I don't like managers that are up your ass. I don't like managers mm -hmm. that do shit like that. I'm not a manager, but like I am in charge yeah. of like the photographers and like, I feel weird telling people to like change the way they do things because I want it to be done differently. But not even that I want it to be done differently because I feel like they're not doing. I wouldn't say a, a good job. I think they're doing a good job. I just want, I'm like, this could help you. You could do better. Yeah. And then when they don't, yeah. And when they don't like listen to my like notes or whatever, I'm not yeah, giving them a listen. Just like, Hey, like yeah. zoom out a little bit. And then they don't, I'm like, Hey, zoom out a little bit. Cause these images are way too zoomed in and they look huge. These people, Yeah. you're making them like not look as good. And then I had to tell this one person like three times today, like zoom out. And I don't know if they did it or not, but I'm like, I'm not, I mean, luckily like every time they shoot photos, like they have to put their initials in. So you mm. see who sh takes a photo. So like, I won't be like get in trouble for that. But yeah. we had a photographer go to the wrong school today and she was an hour and a half late, hour and 40 Jesus minutes late today. Christ. And we needed to that be sucks. out of there by 11. Uh, and we were like, 
mean, the kids were in there like trying to eat lunch and we were just like running around trying to get the equipment out. It was just a pain. Oh, that um, sucks. But yesterday we were in this like auditorium school and these like teachers were just yelling at these kids and these kids were probably the worst kids we've ever had. Like, and I've been mm. working here for like a little over a month and I, I work like four days a week hitting a different school every day. Um, yeah. And these kids literally were, were just like, they couldn't sit still. A lot of them had special needs. You can't control that. Like whatever is what it is. Yeah. Like I feel horrible about it, but like, you know, it's still mm-hmm. like hard to do your job when like you can't, like a kid's like literally like will not, like it won't stop moving. A couple of kids were just running around. Like they try to sit them down. They just take off. It was kind of funny, but, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was a little bit annoying because I'm like trying to get these photos done and like the teachers are really rude and like weird. And I'm like, this is just it's like weird that we're like school. starting to see like the other side of that because like not that long yeah, ago, we dude. Were those kids, you know? Yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like it is weird like being back in um, schools and like dealing with teachers and stuff because like that was my first job. I was working with kids and stuff. Um, and I'm not like in charge of the kids, but I have to like, you know, grasp their attention and like some of them just don't want to smile. Some of them, whatever you have to kind of like convince them. And some of them are just like straight face. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. So annoying. Yeah. And like, I had like a bunch of kids today that were like Russian and I'm just like, all right, like I'm a, <laughs> I'm not going to make you smile. Cause I know you don't smile. So your country's at <laughs> I know war. You don't have so any fun. Like yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, crazy stuff going like, on over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I we hit um, the Kremlin or they hit the Kremlin. <laughs> I haven't, um, Great. yeah, I haven't had any stu- any kids that have speak. I've never like really heard Russian, seen any like people from Russia that much. I think maybe like a, I could count on my hand how many times today it was like there was probably mm. five or six classes that straight up were like kids only spoke Russian or like a lot of them like everyone did, but like some of them could speak a little English, but the teachers were like so Russian, dude, like the most Russian mm. looking women you've ever seen. <laughs> it was really funny. That's so weird. Is, like, Mm -hmm. Chicago known for having a lot of Russian people or something? Dude, Chicago just has, like, every, Yeah, like, I think it's, like, one of those hot spots because it's, like... Definitely. Where, uh... There's a lot of... If you're moving to America from another... Yeah, there's a lot... There's this one street um, that I drive by, by and it's, like, a... Like a lot of, it's like a big middle, like Middle Eastern area. I'm, I'm, I don't know exactly Mm -hmm. where it is, so I'm not going to, like, guess because it could be (laughs) fucking anything. Um, yeah, but there's just one strip where it's like we are all well Middle uninformed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's somewhere over there. I'll, I mean, I, it's like that's just <laughs> like the market. There's like markets and stuff. There's people walking around and stuff. Um, that's cool. And then they ha- there's a lot of Hispanic people. A lot of students that don't speak English and only speak Spanish. And teacher, mm. there's one school that we went to that every kid only spoke Spanish. And I'm like, how are we doing this? Like, how is <laughs> how is this a school that I'm assigned to? I'm like like, I've I mean I grew up in like the whitest area in Minnesota like how am I able to do this um but it is what it is um but yeah work has work has been annoying and stressful so um weed has been my vice this week already and it's Tuesday so (laughs) yeah um we're addicted but if you guys what I said we're addicted (laughs) <laughs> um it's just like dude sometimes i'm just i get back i'm like dude i just like i'm gonna like rage if i don't just like take a few hits and just like chill you know yeah um and i was just like i'm glad i did because i I'm mean like, if it's if it's the option between again. yeah if it's the option yeah. between mental breakdown and a puff mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. like <laughs> dude that's I'm, I'm like it's not even that it was like all right I had to work with the same person that drove me crazy yesterday. I had to work with her today and she was the one that was late. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and so I was just like, all right, like I just got to like relax. Like I can't be getting angry because you know, I don't want to have a reputation. I don't want to like make anyone, you know, not like me. And not that that's like the most important thing, but like if I'm working with these people, I don't want it to be awkward and uncomfortable. But at the same mm-hmm. time, it's like, you know, I have my boss deal with it, but I know my boss isn't really dealing with it. Um, yeah. which, it is what it is. I'm not, it's not that big of a deal. It's what it's fucking fine. But, um, that's my way of dealing with it sometimes. Obviously like, I'm like, all right, I'm fine. But like, I'm just like, all right, I'm just like, it'd be nice. (laughs) Um, (laughs) yeah, but, uh, check out the last episode. If you guys haven't, it comes out tomorrow morning, um, for us, but it chill already have been out for a week. By the time you hear this, um, it's called hot box in the womb. 
and it's part one <laughs> of this. And we talked about um, some government things that they have that they've talked about with weed, some side effects, some potential side effects, and mm-hmm. we won't go too far into it. it. But yeah, go yeah. check out the episode. And then today we're talking about some interesting facts and some questions. It's that kind Dash of a has. part two, kind of like yeah, a yeah. It's it's. It's not even like, I wouldn't say it's a part two from the, what we did last no. time, but it's like a part two of the topic, I think. Yeah, yeah. That's a good way um, to put it. So, um, yeah, why don't, we just, uh, why don't we just get right into it? Um, so we're going to take a little quick cut here, and we'll be right back with the topic of the day, which is weed yet again. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're back, and I have the first little fun fact. Are you ready, Dash, for me to just I spit this at you? I am ready. Spit it on me. <laughs> Did you know that cannabis is 2,500 years old? I want to smoke some of that OG. <laughs> yeah, dude, the OG. <laughs> so I'm going to read a little bit. I have, I have, that was the headline, and here's a little bit. I wonder how so, little, real quick, I wonder how yeah, little yeah. potency there was in it. Like, because you yeah, know how, like, weed is, like, only, like, <laughs> recently become, like, really, like, even, like, like, like the generation before us was like mm-hmm. not smoking nearly as strong of stuff as we are. Yeah. Uh, I wonder why that. So I wonder, I wonder how we need our fiends for it. Yeah. We just like, <laughs> I, I mean, I just cut mine with fentanyl, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> don't fucking do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Please don't. Unless do you want to have oh the God. best time of your life. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, I can't no, even no. say <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we're gonna get taken down from YouTube. No, yeah, p- fentanyl kills you like dude, the littlest don't, bit. Don't fucking do that. Get yeah. test your drugs. Buy flour where you can see it and smell mm-hmm. it. Grind it up yeah. yourself. Buy know from exactly a if you what can. you're smoking. Yeah, dispensary. Dude, dispensary weed's the shit. It's a, it's overpriced for sure because it's taxed mm-hmm. so heavy because it's not legal federally. Yeah. But shit can be gas. Like even it, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Colorado's it's got good. some good shit. Anyways, There's some good um, fucking carts out there too. Like uh, some dispensary yeah, carts are insane. Yeah, that's like anyway. I'm I'm advertised that <laughs> a lot more, but um, I don't really use the vapes. But anyways, okay. Cannabis <laughs> was first recorded on the Easter Tibetan Plateau, and that that's in China. Chinese farmers would grow the plant for mm. oil and fiber to make ropes, clothing, and paper. They weren't even using it to just puff puff. They were just fucking using it for what they use other plants for. The first psycho, psychoactive use was reported 2,500 years ago in the Pimer Mountains in western China. I probably butchered that. Hmm. The Chinese would boil cannabis flowers with water to make a tea. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> um, Herodotus? Herodotus? Probably didn't get them very high, though. Herodotus, the Greek historian who wrote about the... Dude, there's too many fucking, like, interesting words. Scythians <laughs> in 440 BCE said they would make tents and heated rocks to smoke hemp, which caused them shout, <laughs> shout what? for joy, dude, which caused them to shout for joy. Or it's yeah! Just, it's, it's, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like, what? That's what I do every time I smoke. Every time I smoke. Every time. Yeah! Dude, like, you can't smoke and be quiet. Like, people smoke weed and go to yeah. sleep. Nah, I smoke it and I'm like, I yeah! smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> speaking the mic uh they yeah, made for real. <laughs> tents and heated rocks to smoke hemp which caused them shout for joy so i don't under, i don't know what that means but <laughs> marijuana is a close relative of the common hop found in beer oh the plant mm. that still grows oh yeah wild it is connected Asia. i did i forgot to mention that on the last time i did read about that too yeah it's the same um like the way that uh, like uh, beer is brewed is mm. similar uh, like I guess the wheat or like the, yeah the hops in it or some shit like that I don't know I didn't it's gotta be the way the way that like it affects um, the brain I'm sure is similar like that is not definitely in, but like, like it's also how they're made I think too though yeah or like the uh, the the oh, fuck um, I, I don't even I don't know if it's down to the compounds of the substance or what but mm. it's like it's they're they're more similar than people think yeah all right, number two, only female cannabis plants can get you high. So mm, the girls just got that bad. secret sauce. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call it Mary Jane, dude. Man, um, Skywalker's a chick, dude. I'd smash. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I wonder what the males do. So Okay, so only female marijuana plants can 
produce potent high THC buds. Male marijuana plants only produce small amounts of THC, and they do not produce any buds at all. They're just fucking limp dick losers. Marijuana growers yeah. want to cultivate female plants because the female plant produces buds that can be harvested for their potent effects. So they just want to nut in the female flowers to produce that fucking sticky icky, dude. <laughs> oh, he figured it out. He figured it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? You want that sticky icky? You got the dude's got a the the male cannabis has to nut inside the female cannabis plant, and they produce the sticky oh, icky. Is that All what right. it says? No, it that'd be hilarious. That. Okay, though. that would have been so funny though. On this government website, yeah, it says. I that. mean, it, no. yeah, I mean, it makes sense, you know, <clears throat> like, like I mean, uh, I feel like that's it, isn't that the way it is in plants a lot of the time though. Like the I don't know. female bears the fruit and then the male uh, reproduces. Like, yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they give us that wonderful, wonderful fruit off the woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Men um, suck. Women are better. It's official yeah, now. Dude, for real, it's official. It was debatable um, before, you know. But <laughs> but now we now we know that now that we know that female cannabis plants get you high and males don't. Now it's a for sure like. 100% females are better. Yep. Um, marijuana growers want to remove male plants from the grow area before they begin to flower and release pollen. Once a marijuana plant starts to produce male flowers, it can pollinate and ruin all of the females in the grow area, causing them to start flowering That's true. prematurely. Dude, I dudes just ruin everything. That. Yeah. Okay? Fuck, man, dude. <laughs> Coming early, dude. This is a feminist <laughs> podcast, okay? We talk about the hard hitting <laughs> issues. There's no women on it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amber Amber listens, and so does your girlfriend. Those are all yeah, that's true. Only women listen to the podcast, mm -hmm. <laughs> the meet in the middle podcast, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, <clears throat> uh, perfect. Um, it's just designed for women, you know. Um, it it really is. Um, all right, next one. There are about a hundred cannabinoids in the marijuana plant. Cannabinoids are, found, are compounds found in the marijuana plant, and once consumed, they join receptors in the body and the brain. The main difference between the two cannabinoids is that THC has strong psychoactive effects, making a person high, whereas CBD is thought to have anti-psychoactive effect, effect that controls or moderates the high caused by the THC. CBD is also thought to reduce some of the mm. other negative effects that people might experience from THC, THC such as anxiety. Okay, so I've always kind of wondered uh, the difference between CBD and THC, though. So it, it's mainly just like the, the loosey-goosey feel of CBD, or that's what CBD is. It's like more of like a mm -hmm. relaxation versus like a high. Um, yeah, that's, that's interesting, interesting because I, I then, try that. that tells you like the different strains and stuff, like depending on yeah. like how much CBD is in it, like kind of mm. how your experience is going to change. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Um. I'm trying to think of like a like a I don't know what CBD stands for but I'm trying to think of like a stupid version of it like cock cock balls dick yeah <laughs> cock balls dick dude yeah <laughs> two dicks we cock only and we, dick. we only use CBD cock balls and dick dude mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um oh this is a good one number four Bob Marley was buried with marijuana that is the fucking what i'm digging way to up that die. corpse dude <laughs> yeah. that's i the, would never be a grave robber but now i am <laughs> like, that's gotta be the fucking dankest <laughs> weed too that's gotta be the that's gotta be like it's just like fucking nah, that's sitting be, in there it's gotta be so much shake dude nah, yeah it's gonna be like there ain't <laughs> no way they put like they buried him in like really good shit dude like what's he yeah like no i think they um, would have to i mean that was probably his dying wish i mean you're not gonna you're not gonna set him off i would be so sad like yeah, dude, packing him, packing really nice weed in, and then it's like he's dead. I mean, it's like the same reason as like some people get buried with like yeah, like money and like jewelry and stuff. Like, why the fuck are you just wasting it? Like, it's just a yeah. corpse now. You know, like I get dressing yeah. it up for the fucking thing, but like honestly, I don't care if you just dump me in a river. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead already. I don't care. Yeah, like, <laughs> dude. Yeah, your ghost watching someone dump you in the fucking river in Austin. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I didn't have to see that. <laughs> uh, the famous Jamaican artist was buried with his bible guitar and a bud of marijuana oh, okay it's just a bud oh that's um, right. that's fair that's, that's fair. Sick, that can be though. some primo he that died of sick. cancer in 1981 may 11th um damn he continued to tour and record music um even though he was diagnosed and only months before his death he did that he was <laughs> oh, i thought it was still, even though he was dead like i was like what even though he was dead he was recording <laughs> um <laughs> 
his album Uprising was released two days before he died. That's crazy. Oh, that's um, nuts. She I said, bet that album or, blew up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Rita claims that she saw him writing in his diary hours before he lost consciousness. Um, that's crazy. Damn. Wow. Um, Fuck cancer. Dude, for real. <laughs> yeah, too much cancer in this world right now. Um, so Washington is the f- was the first United State to legalize recreational cannabis. So that was December George 6, Washington 2012. Smoked weed. That's one of the, I think it's one of these on here. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> George Washington was a grower. That's number 10. Um, not a shower. George Washington. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think <laughs> grower, not a shower. That's, that's so funny. Um, but December 6, 2012, Washington became the first state of being legal to sell recreational cannabis. Four days later, Colorado joined. That's crazy. How do you, how do you come up with like a whole like system? They're like, you know, four, day, four days is all it takes for them. I mean, I'm sure they were like, working on it too, you know? Like, yeah, but like, I'm sure that was like, I mean, yeah, I'm, I that's, that's the thing true. too. Is like, they made it legal. They like, no, no dispensaries opened on that day or anything. I'm sure. Yeah, Minnesota like, just legalized, but they haven't opened dispensaries yet. I'm excited about that. Pussies, that's sick. <laughs> I'm just bringing all my that shit down. Um, what? Okay. Uh, oh, here's the, we talked about this last episode. There are 1,200 slang words for cannabis, marijuana, <laughs> weed, pot, that good, good. Dank doobie, <laughs> our favorite is broccoli. Some uh, other unusual terms are Houdini, because the user escapes reality. Dakin? Dakin? I feel this like if Hawaii. I asked somebody for some Houdini, they'd give me fucking DMT. <laughs> <laughs> like, they'd give you DMT. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, like, that's escaping reality. I don't think about it. Yeah. Like, like, I still know where I am, but, like, DMT is like the shit mm. where, you know, you know, you get knocked out and you visit another realm, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, Houdini. I want that Houdini. Yeah, they give you, like, I want that Houdini. They give you fucking AIDS or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I want that good Houdini. All right. Like, fuck it. <laughs> They're just like, how do they just, they just fuck you in the ass? And then yeah, yeah, dude, bend over. It's like, all right. They're like, <clears throat> we're going to butt chug you some of this. You want to escape this reality? Houdini. Here's AIDS. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude, are you Why is die, AIDS the way to escape reality? I got to try it. You know, I just have, I, I mean, I guess you know I gotta more. I got to try it, dude. Yeah, I got to try it. Um, yeah, okay, wait. So this one. Dakin, Dakin, it's D A space K I N E. This Hawaiian surf slang can refer to anything for for which one forgets the precise name. Bag of bones, multiple marijuana cigarettes. That's sick. Give me a marijuana oh, yeah. cigarette, a bag of bones. That's that's the thing is like I I was I was gonna mention that too. I was like I haven't heard anybody ever say marijuana cigarette. <laughs> like I've heard that said like in old like like shows. Yeah, he, and oh, shit, I heard he was smoking a marijuana <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> Would you like a marijuana cigarette? Uh, <laughs> I heard he was smoking some some sort of marijuana cigarette. Yeah, something like that's like the fucking like transatlantic. Uh, that's just the only way you yeah. can say that. Yeah, um, true. Um, can I get a number? marijuana cigarette? Like, you just can't, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it's more like you, if you say it unironically, it's weird. Um, yeah. 420 is, is code. So 420, pronounced 420, is code term is a code term for consuming cannabis. Whenever people can't be candid about what they're doing later, they simply say 420. And those, those in the know will understand. The 420 yeah, nobody code has become, <laughs> yeah, the, 420, yeah, the 420 code has become interwoven into cannabis culture with 420 merchandise, 420 references and music, and even hidden in plain sight, 420 Easter eggs in movies. Yeah, I don't think this is a code anymore. I think that's the no. most obvious thing you can do. <laughs> If you say 420, everyone's like, I think, like, I mean, like, wasn't the joke, like, oh, I'm getting high, 420, smoke weed, like, you know, like, is the joke, I, like, that everybody I wonder, like, like, where I, that comes from. Is it, I thought it was just because, like, 420 is an ideal time to smoke, but I've never really, like, known if that's true or not. Like, is it a good time to smoke? I don't know. I don't usually smoke at 420. Uh, can, can be traced to 1971 when a group of five students at San Rafael High School in Marin County, California, began meeting mm. at 420 to smoke mm. marijuana. So yeah, that is the, the sickest thing ever, dude. That's so sick. Um, that's a cool. Wait, what year was it? Oh shit! There's one. Wait, hold up. It's nice seventy something. Nice. God, there's so many pop up cool. shits. Oh my pop-up god, shits. there's so many. Oh, this is bright as fuck. Uh, 
Some believed oh. it to be referred to as a police code for marijuana possession or that it arose mm. from Bob Dylan's Rainy Day Women at number 12 and 35 within its refrain of everybody must get stoned, 420 being products of 12 times 35. That's pretty sick. Mm. Um, That's uh, cool. But a con- consensus has emerged that it started when a group of bell-bottom buddies... Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, they called themselves the Wad- Waldos. A friend's brother was afraid of getting busted in a patch of cannabis who's growing in the woods at Point Reyes, so he drew a map and gave the teens permission to harvest the crop. The story that's crazy, dude. <laughs> that's like sick. it's that's like a, a cool backstory. So, like instead of it being like a like um like you know how there's like traditions that you pass down in yeah. um in shit like you're like I don't know I had I kind of fucking stole one from my school but uh there's like a tradition of like uh we stole. Like we have a tradition at my school where we would play our rivals and then we would steal a clock from their school. <laughs> um, oh, that's funny. like just like up on the wall, uh, and so we would just <laughs> take it and then that would get passed down. Like it would stay with our guys, but like it would go like to the next generation of uh, oh, I see. people. So like that's kind of what it was like for this. Like it's like I have like a weed garden here. I'm graduating. Mm. You can now go smoke the yeah, weed garden. That's, that's so dope. That's so sick. Um. All right, next one. George Washington was a grower, not a shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. George Washington that should was be the a pro. It should be. <laughs> George Washington was a grower, not a shower. Grower, not a shower. <laughs> That's great, yeah. Um, George Washington was a pro- prolific hemp farmer, mentioning the plant at least nine, 90 times in his diaries and writings. He is often interested in finding, in finding, sowing, harvesting the best hemp seeds. While we don't have any evidence of Washington smoking his goods, we know he was very uh, keen to put this plant to work in the form of heavy-duty rope on his fishing ships. This motherfucker knew what he was doing, dude. He was like, these <laughs> ropes kind of smell good, dude. I kind of feel weird when I touch these ropes, dude. When I kind of <laughs> jack these ropes off, kind of grow a little bit. <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mind's in the nasty today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> for real, for George Washington, you know. Mm-hmm. Dude, George Washington can, can give me that. He is the sexiest president like. for sure. <laughs> uh. I wonder what his real hair looked like, or if it just like if that was his real hair. He, was his, it was just wigs. <laughs> it was no, it was just it was we wear yeah. wigs. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> <laughs> That's the best video ever, dude. Oh, there's a little little bit of Doug in here with his bad fade because he's facing the wrong way. Bruh. His, look yeah, at I how put, the, I put the cut pictures is. in that pod It's podcast. so bad. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit last podcast, but look at that shit. I'm sorry. I know I'm doing it dirty now. <laughs> He's looking at me like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> all right. The next one is, I think this one's interesting. So Shakespeare smoked weed. That's all you need to know. Ah, that was one of mine. Fuck. Really? Yeah. Um, I want to. Let me say that one because I because I got it. I got it pulled up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does it go more in depth on it, or is it? Yeah, it just says. Just the, um, it, they, the I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Found in his home. Yeah. Fuck. Can. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> Forensic technology shows us there are traces of marijuana found in Shakespeare's clay pipes at his Stratford uh, garden. They used as a gas. Uh, they used as a gas procedure to highlight cannabis residue that dated back hundreds of years. Uh, that's great, cause yeah. What if it, what if it was like somebody just like had like like at the place like had his pipes and were like, let's just smoke weed out of this. Yeah, dude. Like, what if no, it wasn't his? Sick, like, what if somebody though. at the what if somebody oh. like at the museum just like was yeah, like, you know, what, let's smoke. Like, Damn, this is, they didn't know what it was. Yeah, they were just smoking out of it. They're like, oh, this is like, oh shit, we gotta cover. They took the weed from um. Fucking no, I mean, like, could you imagine the story though? Saying I smoked yeah. weed out of Shakespeare's pipe, like that'd that's be fucking sick. crazy. That's fucking. Um, cool. Dude, that's cool. That well, it says like. Um, they, yeah. it was like, uh, like they said, um, it could have had a, been an enormous aid in writing all the screenplays and poems. So like thinking about yeah. that, like from an artistic way, we talked about that a little bit in mm-hmm. the last episode, Oh yeah. um, about how we can kind of make you more creative and, and whatever. Um, and that definitely, I mean, one of the greatest pr- playwrights of all time, if not the greatest <laughs> playwright. Yeah, was probably the smoking weed, smoking that sticky icky. So, yeah, yeah. That yeah can you imagine like rolling up on Shakespeare and he's like just smoking a J? Like, <laughs> dude, he seems like he'd be fucking sick, dude. He seems like he'd be a cool oh, yeah. dude to hang out with. Um, <laughs> he's I don't know. Written a lot of him. tragedies, so I don't know. He might be a dad. <laughs> yeah, but. dude, he's probably <laughs> fucked up. He's probably fucked up in the head. He's I also a wouldn't be able to understand him. How doth Macbeth fuck? Like, I don't fucking. 
He's definitely a grower, not a shower, though. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a smoker, not a broker, you know? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And then my last fact is that cannabis can be used in construction. I've been seeing this a lot more on TikTok. Hempcrete <laughs> is a biocomposite material oh, made from hemp that, herds, shives, herbs, and lime. Herbs. It is used as a construction and insulation material. Hempcrete is easier to work with than traditional lime mixes, and it lacks the brittleness of concrete. This makes it an ideal material for most climates as it combines insulation and thermal mass. I've been using it, I've been seeing it a lot more people have been building like full of fucking houses. Um, I, like there almost is, like model homes with hempcrete. And it's like yeah, 3D I will printed, say, isn't it? I will say, yeah, I think there's one of those going on mm. like a couple blocks down from me because I used to ride my bike past it all the time and like early in the morning for like for work and stuff. And I'd yeah. see, um, yeah, they had the fucking machine. Yeah. Doing like the lines, like going all the way around the whole thing, putting that pace yeah. down. I think, um, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the crazy. 3D printed ones might be different than the hempcrete. It's possible, but, but either way, it's still sick. Either way, like <laughs> that's still cool to like use different materials to to build homes and concrete because i don't know what the so if i hotbox the shit out of my house it's going to be way better insulated right that's what i'm hearing it'd be insulated and you'd get like a (laughs) and you get like a second high it would like the walls would be (laughs) literally like high with you dude like you'd be be crying yeah (laughs) it'd be like the kendrick lamar if these walls could talk and they would be fucking speaking to you dude. (laughs) like ancient (laughs) hemp would be fucking speaking to you dude talking you through the walls (laughs) Um, that was all my uh, fun facts. I skipped a all few. Right, I got, boring, but. Yeah, I got 10 here. Um, let's see. Uh, starting with this one. The first item ever sold on the internet was weed. What? Uh, back before the internet was a thing, students from Stanford used their artificial intelligence lab to purchase weed through an uh, ARPANET account. This version wasn't necessarily an example of Amazon's purchasing, but for uh, it's more of like a Craigslist transaction. Mm. Uh, credit card information <laughs> can't transfer over their servers, but this transaction definitely pioneered the days of online sales that we know today. That's crazy. That's so yeah, crazy. somebody just bought weed from somebody else, like yeah, without just sending them the direct uh, information for it. Doug, are you just chilling back here? Like, <laughs> that's crazy though. I feel like I've, maybe I have yeah. heard that before. That's that's funny though. That's a really that's yeah. a good fact. That's a fun fact. Yo, no fucking way. Tupac just is so hard. He's never not what? been hard. <laughs> uh, is he Tupac, a shower or a grower? Um, <laughs> he's definitely. I think he's a always shower, showing. Dude. He's definitely yeah. a shower. <laughs> he's always yeah. just showing showing dick, dude. <laughs> showing CBD, <laughs> cockballs, dick. <laughs> <laughs> um, his music group, The Outlaws, mixed his ashes with weed and lit up. They what? smoked Tupac, dude. That is the craziest shit I've ever fucking heard, dude. That that's is so weird. hard. That's hard. That's as fuck, fucking I think. weird, though, dude. No, Imagine I think that I think you're smoking. Like, that's a dude. gross and weird. But if it's fucking oh, Tupac, you're though, a dude. yeah. Dude, he, but if you're it's, I'd smoke him? Tupac, Ugh. bro, you wouldn't smoke Tupac, dude. Dude, I feel like smoking, <laughs> smoking a dude. Fucking smoking a duty? No, that was well. Dumb. Technically, <laughs> it's a dude and a girl because the the plant. So it kind of mm, oh, true, yeah, out. yeah, yeah, evens out. So you're just smoking like out. a. They're just smoking, smoking a non-binary. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Cancels out. <clears throat> no, but I think that's hard as fuck. <laughs> that is pretty fucking sick, though. Honestly, I personally wouldn't partake, but that is fucking cool, though. You wouldn't partake, dude. You wouldn't say I hit Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hit the that Tupac th- pack, bro. Like that two, that's that insane. Tupac fucking, yeah, dude. That two pack, dude. That is something you you would never be able to like. I mean, that I don't know. Is that like considered like cannibalism in a way? Mm. If it doesn't have a nutritional value, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think if people. That's what I'm going cannibalism, for. When I, I when I eat people, I'm yeah. looking. <laughs> say, I, don't, I, I was going to say I don't think cannibals eat people for nutritional value <laughs> you don't know that though Can't I, mean, I don't know but i don't think i i have a feeling that's probably not what it is i mean it's for the flavor and if you're not going to get the flavor yeah you know Ugh. yeah you're getting a you're probably getting a weird fucking flavor dude I mean, oh my god <laughs> yeah. at that point if it's ash though i feel like it's just it tastes like fucking ash i don't know i mean that's the thing is you probably wouldn't taste anything because <clears throat> cannabis when you're burning it it has ash so you probably wouldn't even 
fuck. It, it's just like you might taste the, a little it, bit more. The ash. image, of, like I feel like, it'd be really funny to like not tell the people that you're doing that. Like you'd be like, yeah, let's just smoke up. And you're like, at the end, when they're high, you tell them like, hey, <laughs> no, we just smoked up. Tupac, and they'd be like, what? what? <laughs> Dude, they'd be freaking. If someone told me that when I'm I was high. Oh my god. No, nah, dude, dude that would, would be freak hilarious. The fuck out. No. That would be, be so, so fucking mean. funny though. You just smoked a dude like <laughs> <laughs> smoked a um, dude, dude. That's all right, so you know how technically you can can overdose on anything? Mm. Um do Is you know true? uh yes, you can die on water. Uh okay. you can drown. You can uh <laughs> yeah. fu- I don't know. I don't think drowning's funny. I just thought that that, that response was funny. <laughs> I think it's I wasn't I think it's expecting funny, that, but you know. Oh um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you would have to smoke fifteen hundred pounds of weed in fifteen minutes to reach a lethal dose. Wow. Let's do it. And let's you, try but, it. But actually, you know, uh, one of the reasons why they did... Yeah, honestly, let's try it. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the reasons why they did uh, initially make cannabis uh, illegal. Um, mm-hmm. is because, well, they did a lot of tests. There's a lot of these drugs coming out, and they would test them on apes, you know, because that's the closest thing to us. Yeah. Um, and they would, you know, uh, put the, like, you can't just give a, a monkey a joint. He's not going to smoke it like that, so you have to put the fucking If you give a mouse a cookie, if you mouth. give a monkey a joint, yeah. Yeah, if you give a monkey a joint, he's going to want some munchies. If you give him the munchies, <laughs> he's going to... <laughs> um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, no, nah, but they would cover their mouths, you know, like, to... Mm. to like I don't know, I don't know what the respirator is that we call it, but you'd put a weed in it anyway. Um, oh my god! So they, they would put the weed. So that's would, fucking horrible. I mean that it's animal testing. That's what it was. You know, they should so they should have done like the they should have done that. like uh, they should have hot box like the fucking zoo or something, dude. Like the fucking <laughs> enclosure, just like they they could fucking. I'd, put, I'd like, smoke the with gas. some monkeys. That'd be crazy, bro. A, a fucking <laughs> monkey gas chamber. That's fucked up. What? That's <laughs> fucked up. That's <laughs> just weed coming down. The road. <laughs> <laughs> That's Anyways, so they Anyways. would make them do that, and then they would keep them in there uh, for an extended period of time. And if and if you don't know, if you're inhaling anything other than oxygen for more than uh, like 15 minutes or so, um, you pass out and die. So oh, wow. I believe they accidentally killed an ape doing that, um, and they were like, "Man, this That's weed so stuff must be pretty bad." Wow, uh, so they made it illegal. Are fucking. <laughs> stupid it w- sometimes it was dude. uh it wasn't just uh, it was the military so you know that <laughs> proves my point even more why are the, why is the military doing scientific experiments yo this Moving on. is crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh california was the first state to ban cannabis what what yeah isn't that crazy they banned it but then they've legalized it since then yeah, no, but they banned it like uh like a century ago, like whenever everybody oh, wow. made it illegal. Uh, yeah, but they were the first ones to do it, which now that's like wow. California brags about having Cali weed and shit. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Well, dude, I mean, uh, it's like, like you so can grow it outside it. there. You don't have to keep it in a in a like L A and house. stuff. Like, yeah, it's big. Yeah. Northern California, time, yeah. had a lot. which is crazy that they, stayed, they were the first ones to do. I it. stayed on a fucking weed farm in Northern California, or maybe it was Oregon. Oh yeah, I heard. I yeah. remember that. Yeah, that's sick. That sounds well, sick. we'll have to tell that story sometime. But yeah, um, <clears> according <throat> to a song. national survey, more than six thousand Americans try weed for the first time every day. That's crazy. Wow. And you Good should for them, too. Dude. Good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. You know, you're really stepping up in the yeah, world. Yeah, I mean, you better. You might as well try it. And then the first mm-hmm. time, if you don't have a good time, you don't really know until your sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh time. You might as well just do it weed. until you die, and then just see how. You I feel. think if you do it for you got to have like at least a year of non-stop high mm. um and then yeah. yeah yeah and and then just keep going <laughs> yeah exactly i mean it is true though like the first like one or two times you probably won't feel like the effects how you, you feel like after you're you're like yeah it's time. because you don't know what it what you're feeling so you're like yeah it's don't same understand with drunk, it. so being like, drunk though you don't really understand yeah it. i like, feel the same this? way too yeah. you're like i don't know yeah. if i feel unless you like because this is people telling really me this is overdo how I'm supposed it to feel. yeah unless you yeah. like really overdo it i don't think you're gonna really but even then like dude like feeling a new like high or like a feeling like that for the first time like you just don't like 
you just don't know. Like the first time I got drunk, I was like, I just feel really dizzy. But like, that's just what drunk feels like. Like it's just like, you, yeah. you don't really know because everyone tells you mm. this is what you're supposed to feel like. And you're like, I don't know if this is what it is. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Cause you, you're, being you're told everyone, what your experience exactly, should be exactly. like and you don't actually know what it is. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. That's the same thing with uh, tripping for sure. Oh, really? Exact same thing. Sorry about that. We had to cut because my camera just stopped recording. Cool. All right. Continue. All right. Where the fuck were we? <laughs> we were talking about, I don't even remember, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make us look really bad because we just cut. Like That was probably yeah. like a 30 second delay. And we like could look back, but we're not going to. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, I think we were done. So, yeah, I have finished the those, quest- uh, the, those facts. <gasps> so now okay. we are on to the questions. So this is, um, is going to be di- something a little bit different. Uh, mm-hmm. This is not going to be questions about marijuana itself or anything like that. This is something that I found when we were looking at it. Uh, it's uh, deep questions to ask your friends when you're high. So these mm. are just going to be kind of high topics that we'll just kind of go yeah. into and start talking about. And you'll we're not of, high right now, but we no, nah, we it's kind of sad. We would we'll, yeah, it is kind of <laughs> sad. But these are questions like if you are high watching this. Maybe you, you could have ask your yourself in the comment section yeah. or ask yourself this or ask your friends this or send these questions to your friends. <laughs> so um, just a little yeah. something, something for sure. But like, yeah, this, you'll, we'll get into it. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, what is your very first memory? <laughs> oh, my God. I have. No yeah. Idea. Right. Right. Um, That's what I was like. I was like, I have no fucking clue what my first memory was. What the fuck would it have been? Dude, I feel like my first memory is like a little weird, but um, this is actually on, uh, it was on the farm. So our grandma, our grandma's farm they used to have. And uh, I vividly remember being changed out of a diaper. So I would have had to been like, you know, three or four, like, you know, 15 or something. And, uh, <laughs> and I was probably like 16 and, um, no, I'm just kidding. No, I was, I don't know how old I was, but 22, I remember like, you know, being, like. Cha- <laughs> yeah, this was like last week. Um, no, I, uh, I remember being changed uh, out of my diaper. I think grandma did it or maybe my, my mom did it or something. And I walked outside. I think you guys were hanging out outside or Sydney and my older sister, you or somewhere was, someone was out there, or my dad or something. And I went down the steps, you know, like the mudroom stairs, you walk yeah. out the, the door and you run on the mudroom stairs. I ran out there and I just remember shit in my fucking pants, like just <laughs> standing there and just pooping in my diaper. And I turned around and walked right back on the <laughs> stairs and I was like, it changed me. I just shit in my fucking pants. And I would have had to have been like three years old or something. But that, I do remember that That's vividly, curious. like walking on the stairs and being like, uh, 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 and then just fucking walking back. <laughs> Dude, All like right. Filling it to the brim with a clean diaper. I was like, Fuck. just waiting, you know? Um, I ain't I pot, thinking about that, that all shit yet, of the time. <laughs> yeah, dude. I think about um, that. What was your? I dream about. I it think about it all the time, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what was your first memory? <clears throat> uh, this isn't my first memory. This is something I forgot to say earlier, though. Um, oh, okay. Do you know about the weed story at the farm with, uh, um, <laughs> with some workers that uh, that no. what's his name um, that Grandpa had hired. What? No, I yeah. don't. So this is before us, what? I'm pretty sure. But my mom told okay, me about okay. it. Um, but it's uh, so it reminded me because of the hemp and everything. So you know, there's just weed around there. Like, have mm. you seen it? Like, Chad showed me once that there's just like a shit ton of weed, like in the back pastures what? and stuff like that. Oh, there's so much of it. It's not like good Bro, weed. We, like, it's we, mostly male weed and stuff. So I'm like, it's not. It's oh, it's, we it's just a taken weed. It anyways. Like, it's we hard tried to. The fucking I mean, that's the thing is, yeah, we weren't. They sold the farm before we yet. got into weed. So, I know yeah. it sucks. We should just sneak on there and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's the thing is like, is it's just, it's a weed, you know, it's hard to fucking kill. Um, yeah. It's, uh, but anyway, um, they, hi- so grandpa had hired, he, that's a sheep farm, by the way. So he had hired other hands mm-hmm. to help. I think it was like shearing and stuff, something like that. Um, yeah. And he, so he hired them and they, uh, I think they only spoke Spanish, a bunch of Hispanic guys. Um, mm. uh, and they, uh, my, and grandpa walked in, I, I'm s- trying to, I'm translating this in my head at the same time. Cause my mom said it to me as like, my dad walked in. I'm like, no, my grandpa, <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, so grandpa like, walked in and saw them, like they were like hanging it to dry it out and stuff and like to, to smoke it or whatever. Uh, what? and he walked in, he was like, nah, you got to get rid of all this. Like, you can't be doing this. Uh, and so wow. they got rid of it and everything, but I thought that was hilarious that 
That uh, is really funny, though. Uh, they just went out and <laughs> did that. <laughs> they, so wait, they took it from the pastures? Yeah, I guess it was just it was just around. Yeah. And so, yeah, they just... Dude, uh, that's fucking hilarious, dude. Isn't that so funny? Just a bunch of fucking guys get hired. They're like, damn, we just, they found the weed. And they just took it. They're drying it out, dude. They knew <laughs> yeah. how to do it. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> dude, I can't even imagine, like, the reaction that our grandpa would have if he saw oh, that. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, what would he even fucking do? Yeah. That's funny. Do you have a first memory that you that you have? I honestly cannot remember <laughs> at this yeah. current time. I don't know at all <laughs> do you I remember can't. getting your head stuck in the yeah in the fucking thing yeah that's the thing is like, like five i think that's six. the only way i would remember those memories yeah is somebody telling me like hey do you remember this exactly. like, oh yeah i or do it's like, on I'm video like, we have it on video yeah we have that one <laughs> but like <laughs> I, my parents have it on video <laughs> <laughs> that's funny um we both i remember we both did it at one point we both were sticking our heads through the I'm, I'm, yeah. i feel like every kid did that dude they stick their heads through like the railing yeah, thing and on then the, we were on the, can't on the pull loft, it back out and then you which can't pull it back which out. honestly i to this day i don't understand how you how that works i don't <laughs> like, understand the science of it either like you go through one way it's not like there's a whole bunch more resistant yeah i have ears but like you i think like the ears because they because they, they can well the front of your ears are are like smaller than the back of your ears but yeah. they flap so when you go back it might flip the ears back and you don't want to pull mm. too hard because you don't want to hurt yourself and you're six years old you don't know how to like it's pull true. your yeah. head back <laughs> Um, but no, it, do, it, it is kind of weird though. I still don't really understand it either. Yeah. Um, what's the next question? Um, is there time or just movement? <laughs> Isn't time movement? Theoretical phys- uh, physicist Carlo Rovelli said, there is no such thing as past or future that our concept of time as a thing that exists or flows is only a chemical thing that mm. is changing things in your brain. Um, is he right? Is time quantifiable or is there only movement from one state of being to the next? Um, I think it's just movement, but oh my God, if I talked about this when I was high, this would be a, such a good question. Cause yeah, I right? love doing, I we'll love go thinking back to about this kind of when stuff. We, when we do smoke sometime. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going well, like, bookmark it just in case. I think like time is, time is like everything, you know, like you see like, I don't know, everything from like the big bang to now um, is just like movement. Things are spreading out. Things are just moving around the solar system from one big explosion. Um, So I don't know, like we're just, we're spinning and things are happening, but like we perceive time differently on earth than other planets and stuff. So it's like time isn't really like relative to everything else. It's just like how we perceive it, which is so weird. I I love thinking about it though because it is really trippy and it's it's like a paradox mm-hmm. almost. Um, yeah, it's crazy. If you haven't seen the movie Arrival, you should watch it. It talks about time. It's about oh, like yeah. aliens. It's so fucking good. I love Interstellar. Um, that's my shit. Yeah, I love that's that my movie. Favorite. That's so one good. of my all time favorite <clears throat> movies for sure. Incredible movie. The What's soundtrack, the, the visuals, are just insane. It's so good. Yeah, I bought it on oh. DVD. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, this next one's not nearly as deep as that one. Mm. Uh, who gets the middle armrest? Movie theaters, airplane, airplanes, uh, two people, two chairs, four arms, three armrest. What are the rules here? Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna yeah, start. you start. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start with airplanes. I think airplanes. Um, the middle seat should get both middle armrests. Because yeah. you have the yes. shittest seat. You have to ask somebody to get up. You can't look out the window easily. You can't lean on anything. Like, you mm-hmm. need both to lean on just, yeah. like, to not be uncomfortable as shit. You got to, like, put on one side or the other. You have to be able to adjust. Whereas if you're, like, on the side, you can sit up middle. Sure, I can ignore this yeah. side. kind of sucks. But at least I can lean against the wall. Or if I'm on the aisle, I can get up and go to the bathroom, walk around, stretch my legs, whatever the fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, I think that the middle person should get both, you know? I think, like, it also, like, window seat, yeah, like you said, like, they have a rest on the one side. They can get away from the people in the middle. On the on the aisle seat, they have the other armrest. Sometimes planes have, like, a double where, like, you could be touching the Those other person. Those are nice, yeah. Dude, but some oh, people, yeah. like, straight up just take all the armrests, like, and it bothers the fucking shit out of me. Um, mm-hmm. And it's, like, it, it, honestly, yeah. like, in movie theaters and stuff like that, too, it's basically just, like, whoever's kind of a dick will take it. Yeah, um, it's true. That is some people true. don't need it, but some people are like really aggressive about it. And like, 
I feel like if, it, if someone else doesn't take it, I'm going to take it. But like, I'm usually not the first person to be like, get out of here. Unless I'm there first. Like it's kind of like first say, come, first serve with that. I'm going to say I will, uh, I'm a little bit of a bitch when it comes to that. I am not hmm. going to ever touch the one that is next to like with somebody else that I don't know. Oh um, yeah, no. I I wouldn't unless, if someone was already unless doing it. Unless there's one do it. there's one situation. If it's like a uh like a girl or a guy or something like that who is with somebody else on the other side and they're leaning very heavily to the other side to be with them, I don't care. I'll use it because you're yeah. so far across the seat yeah. that it, there's not a if chance of yeah. us even touching. I feel weird right. as fuck if I just like brush up against somebody. I think that's weird. You brush up and like, you I'm look like, at, you look at them in the eyes and yes. you say, "Are you a and shower I'm, or a grower?" Exactly. And I'm already on a date. I can't just be saying that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, that's funny. That's a, that's a that's an interesting question. These yeah, are hard hitting right. questions right here. For real. What's next? Um how do you know your memory like two real? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's a hot question. <laughs> here, I'll find I'll find some easier ones. We'll come back to that at some point. Like that's I, I want like, I want to touch on that really quickly though. I want to sure, I want to yeah. say like wh- not even about memories but just like I've thought about like what if you just woke up and and like today like you don't know what yesterday happened. Like mm-hmm. you could have just like woken up with Oh, I thought about that so much. I was like what if so my many times memories dude. were just programmed into like everything yeah. up until this day has it's just every been time up into this it. moment, dude. I'm like yeah, what if this what exact if like second, la- yeah. it's so weird. And then you start and then I think about it and I'm like oh my god, like something How do I know uh, these things? All right, I guess we're just going to talk about it. <laughs> um, something else uh, about, like, how do you know your memories are real? Um, so my girlfriend, Lila, got me into um, Attack on Titan recently, mm. um, which it's been out for ages. Uh, spoilers yeah. if you don't. Uh, it's not ages. They just finished up, but the part that I'm, parts that I'm referring to are not. Uh, yeah. I'm still watching it. Anyway, um, it's so there's these beings called Titans. You know, there's just giant people that eat other people it's weird i don't know how to yeah. just describe it i can't describe the whole show anyway <laughs> one of the things is one of the titans can has the power to um uh the founding titan can uh, alter people's memories um mm. and so he can Freaky. uh he can change the like so it starts out with this entire civilization you get introduced to everything nobody remembers anything up up until like about a hundred years ago like a hundred years ago they remember there and they remember there were titans around they don't remember anything else and the there was these walls that are built around them protecting them from the titans but there's Mm. no memory of anything before that um or how the walls were built or anything like that so it's like super strange and weird because this guy went off onto this island and basically made his own thing and then just fucking uh erased everyone's memories from it and uh like altered it all uh, to be like Freaky, this is just how dude. life is so everybody just has to go through it not knowing shit you know because you're like yeah because he altered it and he doesn't like constantly change your memories or anything like that's the whole thing is a lot of people are trying to get that power i think mm. um yeah or like have to be wary of that guy because like he titans had like ruled the world because whoever can control them you know controls everything and so lots yeah. of death and shit um, which I'm not even yeah. sure that's true, but this, I don't know, it's a crazy show. Um, but I thought that was really interesting that the, uh, that he can alter the memories and like, yeah, like what, how much power you could have if you can just change people's memories. Yeah, dude, like that's true. That'd be it's insane. So weird. Like yeah. you could have anything you want, do whatever you want, whatever. The fuck, right. Yeah. It's not All right. We have time for one more question. Um, <laughs> let me see. Let me find a good one. Um, Questions. Let's do something a little bit lighter. Um, okay. What does color taste like? Um, That's a light question, dude. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What does color uh, taste like? Like, because you know, whenever they like flavor things, who decided what flavor tastes like what? I get blueberries are blue, so you, that you know, like cherry that kind of and thing. red. I don't like yeah. cherry stuff though. I'm not really? a big fan of cherry. You know what I'm really craving right now? <laughs> is what? the, uh, you know, Some like, do, you know, well, that too. Um, <laughs> Kona <Cock> Ice. <laughs> Cockball stick. What? Kona Ice? Oh. Kona yeah. Ice. You know that? That's like a little truck that has uh, slushies and stuff. They have a yeah, specific yeah. flavor called Tiger's Blood. So oh, fucking wow. good. So, like, they have, like, a cherry thing or whatever, too, but then they have one that's Tiger's Blood, and it's red and everything, and it's so delicious. It's actually so Tiger's good. Blood, too. It is tiger actual cum. Tiger's Blood. Um, that's a different one. Uh, <laughs> tiger cum. <laughs> <laughs> Just white. 
Have you? Yeah. Oh god, it's so gross. It's just so much. They give it to you. Coco like, nut. Like, meta- like. They give, <laughs> yeah. They give it to you. They give you the tigers come in like a fucking like a medical like, like fucking bottle. You're like, oh, um, yeah, like yeah, this is what you wanted. Like this isn't a slushy. This is what you ordered. Now, I'm a big fan <clears> of the the Coco comma nut. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so it's like chocolate and cum. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, disgusting. okay, so the question... Why the fuck are we so tasting, weird today? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I feel like it's because it's late. I haven't eaten yeah. dinner yet. <laughs> We're um, hungry, so we get fucking horny, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for guys, like... Uh, <laughs> for guys, dude, yeah. I'm yeah. always horny for guys. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. I'm a, I'm a horn guy for the, du- for the, for the dudes. <laughs> I'm a horn guy for the dudes. <laughs> I'm a horn guy for the dudes. <laughs> this is a feminist podcast. We this is a feminist podcast. Niches. Yeah, <laughs> this is the the number one rated feminist podcast. Um, What's going but, on in Ukraine? Uh, I fuck dudes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, tasting colors, I don't know. I've never thought about that. I don't. I, I mean, like, yeah, like the flavors that you get, but like people, some people can taste colors. Like, there's like the weird phenomenon that people can do that. What they can see yeah. extra colors and they can like taste it smell it or something there's like I thought that was just like one ultraviolet and like bees <laughs> bees uh no there's like certain people that were either born with it or they um it's like a weird condition like a medical condition where they can like smell or taste color or something like that i mean uh, i could be like making that up but i'm pretty sure i watched a youtube video about it pretty sure that's um, straight out of your ass but we'll see you know <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea i've just never that's heard of that <laughs> could be true yeah no i i mean i don't know anything else about it i just i think that's something like that where they can like it's some like weird thing that we can't perceive like most people can't um mm-hmm. they can they can uh they're showers and not growers that's what it is i've said that way too many times this episode <laughs> yeah um <laughs> it's, that's gonna be the um, title for sure it's george gotta washington. be the title george washington <laughs> was a shower not a grower <laughs> um no, he was a grower, not a shower. That's what it was. He was a gr- yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was a grower, not a shower. Yeah, yeah. Um, grows the weed, grows his dick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. His w- the weed grows on his moldy ass dick. Um Probably does but, now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you yeah, in probably. His current state, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, no, definitely, was it Bob Marley? Bob Marley, definitely, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Dude, that'd be yeah. sick if, like, if, like, a plant grew from that. I don't think that would happen, but that would, would you, be fucking awesome. Would you smoke that, though? Because then you're still smoking a dude. Yeah. I'm just saying. I would. I would smoke that, though. <laughs> would you smoke that and... That'd be cool. Dude, I would smoke Bob Marley worse. and Tupac at the same time. That'd be insane. <laughs> <laughs> you saying, yeah, dude, that's fine. Um... All right, well, that's going to do it for episode five. I don't know what we're going to do next episode, but we definitely, this was fun, and I like I have a lot more questions. Stuff. It doesn't even, yeah. they're, not, they're not really weed-related, so we could probably just use mm-hmm. this as something else. But I think yeah, we, we, might come, we might come back to this. We still have funny stories to tell, too, I'm sure. So we could always come back oh, to yeah. this in a later date um, whenever we can't think of another topic to talk about. But if you all enjoyed this episode, please let us know in the comments. Please uh, subscribe and like the video. Um, It helps us just know that you enjoyed or you liked it or um, what have you. So, um, yeah, Yeah. we'll we'll see. uh, We'll see you next week. Episode six. Not sure what it's going to be about yet, but uh, tune in and we really appreciate it. Peace. Thank you. Bye bye.